Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve the problem design browser history. So we'll have a browser page. Okay. Of one tab where we start from the home page. Okay. And from there we can visit another URL, get back in the history in number of steps or move forward in the history in number of steps, implement the browser history class. So browser history class uh, with string home page initializes the object with the home page of the browser visit URL uh, visits URL from the current page. Okay. It clears up all the forward forward history. We will see. So let's say this is our tab. Okay. Let's go to our home page. Let's say we go to google.com. Okay. So we have initialized the object with the home page. Okay. So this is our home page. Now let's say we want to go to facebook.com. Okay. Now let's say we want to go to instagram.com. Now let's say we want to go to leadcode.com. Now let's go to medium.com. Okay. So what did we do? We first started from google.com. Then we went to facebook.com. Then we went to instagram.com. Then we went to leadcode.com. Then we went to what medium.com. Okay. Now let's move back by three steps in history. Okay. One, two, and three. Where are we? From here to lead code to Instagram to Facebook. We are here. Okay. Now let's move two steps forward in history Facebook to Instagram to lead code. We moved two steps forward in history. Isn't it? We are in lead code now. Okay. Now let's create a new URL. Where should we go? Let's say udemy.com. Fine. Okay. Now if we go back, we are at leadcode.com, isn't it? Now if we move forward again, we are at udemy.com. See, we were at leadcode, but after leadcode, we had medium.com, right? But now, if we again go to forward from leadcode, we are now getting udemy.com, isn't it? That means whatever it had previously, that was that link was broken. Now we are at a different website. This was medium, and this is udemy. Okay. And if we go back from Udemy, we get to lead code, isn't it? So this is how the thing is happening. So what is it actually like? Can you observe what, what, what have you built here? We have built a link list, a doubly link list, isn't it? So just by seeing how our browser, how our navigation is working, we directly uh, inferred what, what kind of data structure we can use to implement our work, isn't it? So we are going to use a doubly link list. Okay. Now let us implement this in our solution. Okay. So we are supposed to have a node class, isn't it? For our W link list. Let's call it page node. Okay. A page, page node. Okay, fine. It's going to have a URL, isn't it? And it's supposed to have two pointers, previous and next. Okay. To nav navigate forward and backwards, isn't it? Now we will create our constructor page node. It will have a new string URL. We will pass the URL, isn't it? This dot URL equals to URL. Our next previous both of them are initially null. Okay. Now globally, let's declare our current web page. Okay. This will this current will move forward and backward. Okay. This is this current is nothing but what we are being able to see on the screen, the web page. Okay. So let's initialize our home page. Current equals to at the beginning. It starts with a with the home page, right? Home page. Okay, fine. Now, let's say we want to visit a new web page. Okay, new URL. So what we will do? We'll create a new URL, new web page, isn't it? New page. Let's say goes to new page node. What URL? We pass this string. Now, let's say this is our home page. Okay. So this is our current, isn't it? Now we have a new web page. Okay. So this is current. So this new web page is supposed to be connected to the next of our home page, isn't it? So that we can move to here when we press the this button, isn't it? As well as if we come here, we are supposed to go back here as well, right? When we press this button, isn't it? So this is our current current dot next is going to be our new web page. Okay. Current dot next equals to new page. Okay. 
and new page dot previous equals to current isn't it this is the new page new page dot previous equals to current okay now since we have entered a new url we are definitely supposed to visit it so this current will come here okay this current will be here now so current equals to new page okay okay now we want to go back in history okay so let's say we are currently standing here okay and we have been said that okay take three steps and go back okay three steps back so we are here we will take three steps one two and three where will we land we will land at google.com okay fine now let's say we have been said that go back four steps in history now from here one two three and four we can't go back four steps isn't it there is nothing behind beyond google.com isn't it so we will have to end here only we will have to stop here okay we will return google.com because if we see in the question move steps back in history if you can only return x steps in the history and steps is greater than x you will return x steps okay that means let's say this is x number of steps that we can take and this is steps that has been given okay so if steps is greater than x then return this number of steps only that is 1 2 and 3 okay if so the main thing is if we are exceeding if the given number of steps is exceeding then what we can okay so in that case just return the extreme the home the web page that is lying in the extreme okay extreme left or right okay return that one so let's write it while our current dot previous is not null okay this is our current while our previous is not null okay here it will become null so we will stop here not null and our steps is greater than zero until we have steps left and the web page that we are going to visit next is not null okay what we will do we will keep moving backwards current dot previous okay and at the end whenever we stop we will be at the extreme uh, either we, we will be at the extreme web page extreme left or extreme right or we'll be standing at the web page after taking steps number of steps okay so return current dot url okay similarly for forward okay is going to be the exact same while the current dot next is not null okay until we have web pages keep mo keep moving forwards and until we have steps left okay keep moving forward okay and at the end return current dot url let's say we are standing here we take four steps one two three and four we are we will reach here right this is null so we will return this web page this url or otherwise let's say we were given two steps okay so that would be one and two so we return this one okay either one of them would be breaking the condition okay and wherever we will be standing return that url so this is the solution let's run it looks good great so this is the easy solution okay now if we talk about the time complexity so the time complexity of this method will be a big o of one why we are just creating a web page here right so this is a big o of one now this one either we are taking steps number of steps iterations or we are iterating the whole uh, whole w linked list until the end until we reach a null so whichever is the minimum we will iterate that number of times okay so this is a big o of let's say minimum of n comma steps okay now what about this this is also the same as this until uh, either we would be uh, taking steps number of steps or we will be reaching the extreme end okay so in that case whichever is the mi minimum we will take that many steps isn't it so minimum of n comma steps so our final time complexity becomes this okay isn't it now what about our space complexity our space complexity would be definitely a big o of n right because we are creating a doubly linked list of let's say n nodes n web pages okay and each web page would be storing a url a string url isn't it let's say it sizes let's say l okay so if we have n nodes and each contains a url of size l our space complexity would become n into l n into l isn't it so this is the time and space okay 
i hope it's clear so this is the solution okay we can solve it in many other ways we can use dynamic arrays also array list or even arrays as well okay i have the array solution as well okay this this one is the array solution you can check out the solutions here okay but this doubly linked list one is more intuitive right it would feel like this doubly linked list is made for solving this kind of problems isn't it so it's up to you which kind of approach you uh, use so yeah that's it if you like this video do hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one bye bye